ይነሳ ያንተ ነገር አይሰካም ህይወታችሁ በጠቅላላ በደጆች የተሞላ ለነገሳት ንጉስ ሰግዳለሁ ወደ ከፍታ ይመልሰኛል አላሜ አላቅ ለመሆን አይ ያስፈ It's a very prophetic movement it's a very very strong anointing and presence of God. የእግዚአብሔር ብርቱ የሆነ ቅባትና በረከት አለ ይደግሞ ትንቢታው የሆነ ቃል ነው. And the some minutes here today I'm going to speak about the word turning points. ዛሬ ላካፍላችሁ የመጣሁበት ቃል ርዕስ የመቀየራው ስፍራ በሚል ነው የመቀየራው ሰዓት There are times in his story when God intervened and there came a turning point በመጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ላይ ስታነቡ ብዙ ታሪኮች አሉ እግዚአብሔር በአንድ ሰው ነገር ላይ ሲገለጥ የዛ ነገር የመቀየሪያ ሰዓት ይሆናል It was a crucial time it was a dangerous time it was a time when the power of darkness was ruling for a moment ምናልባት ደግሞ በጣም አስቸጋሪ ወይም አደገኛ ጊዜ ወይም ደግሞ ጨለማ የነበረበት ጊዜ ሊሆን ይችላል እግዚአብሔር የሚገለጥበት but god intervened ነገር ግን እግዚአብሔር ጣልቃ ይገባል and there came a turning point ከዛ በዛች ሰዓት ደግሞ ለውጥ ይሆናል i want to ask you today ዛሬ ለጠይቃችሁ ወዳለሁ is there anyone here this afternoon በዚህ ከሰዓት የተገኘ ሰው አለ ወይ? Who need a turning point in your life? በህይወቱ ላይ መለወጥ የሚያስፈልገው ሰዓት ላይ የደረሰ። Is there anyone here who has a business and you need a turning point in your business? በንግዳችሁ ላይ ምናልባት መለወጥ ያስፈልጋል የምትሉት ነገር አለ ወይ? Is there anyone who have got a diagnosis from the hospital but you need a turning point menalbatin be hospital lay and neger beshita alle tebilachu neger gin ya neger lilewot igebawal mitulut neger alle way all are any students struggling in school and you need god to intervene you need a turning point tamariyoch degmo betimirte lay betam yetagelku no na kahun gize gin negeroch yilewotulleny mitulu allachu way i have good news to you lenante degmo melkam zena alle Our God is a prayer answering God. Amlakachin tselotin yemimelis amlak no. And he will bring the turning point. Lenanta yemitqayeru betin saat azagashtolachwal. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Jesus sem. My dear friends, we do and much hoy. In the month of November 2021. Ben November were ba 2021 yefrenjochu aqotater. I was here in Bishofto. Bezi be Bishofto neberkuin. I was preaching here in this church. Bezi bete Christian degmo yesebekuin nebere. I was preaching in Addis. Ba Addis Ababa yesebekuin nebere. From here I continued to Central Africa. Kazam Central Africa te headkuin. I was dedicating church buildings. Kaza degmo be bete Christian yetegenaba yeneberebet sefra lay deresquin. We saw church overcrowded with people. ደሞ ብዙ አብያተ ክርስቲያን አንስን አየን በህዝብ የተሞሉ ነበሩ It was such a blessed Africa trip ይሄ ደግሞ በጣም የተባረከ የነበረኝ በአፍሪካ ጉዞ ነበረ But when I came back to Sweden ከዛ ወደ ስዊድን ተመለስኩኝ My wife told me ከዛም ባለቤቴ እንደዚህ አለች She was called to the hospital ሆስፒታል ደወሉልኝ አለች to go through mammography X-ray ነገር እንድትነሳ ማለት ነው Were they are testing if there is any cancer in the breast የካንሰር ምርመራ ነው በጥቷ ላይ ካንሰር እንዳለ እንዲመረምሩ አጥሯት She got a negative message ከዛ ደግሞ የማይሆነን መልስ ተቀበለች She had an aggressive cancer tumor in her breast በጥቱሽ ውስጥ በጣም ኃይለኛ የሚባል ካንሰር እጢ አለ አሏት She was at the risk that it could spread all over the body በሰውነቱሽ ውስጥም ይሄ ካንሰር ሊሰራጭ ይችላል ተባለች So they ordered an operation in the month of January last year. ባለፈ አመጥር ወር ላይ ደግሞ ቀዶ ጥገና ማድረግ አለበሽ ተባለች. We were both turning to God. ከዛ ደግሞ We were praying. እየጸለይን ነበር። We were weeping. እያለቀስን ነበር። We were asking God to intervene. ከዛ እግዚአብሔር ወይ ጣልቅ አግባ ያለን ማልቀስ ጀመረን። And the Sunday in January before the operation ከቀዶ ጥገናው በፊት ደግሞ እሁድ ቀን ጥር ወር ላይ 
I said to my wife, we shall have the Lord's table in our home. Because Jesus has spoken to me that he will come to us through the bread and the wine. Because he said that the bread is his body. And the, and the wine in the Holy Communion is the new covenant in his blood. And I said, Satan, we make a proclamation in the name of Jesus. And we had the Lord's table in our home. And we prayed a prayer of blessing. And I felt the presence of Jesus landed upon the table. And we shared the bread and the wine. She went through the operation. But they said that we don't give any cell treatment. We only will give some radiation. Cell treatment mi balala asun ayas felli ganem nager gan radiation mi bal bech arar bicha madragan chila len alwat. I said to my wife during this time I will not travel anywhere in the world. Kazam bezi gze la balabe thi nager kwat bezi saat wade tam alhede mal kwat. I will be with you every week. Kulle gze abre shona lo. I will take you to the hospital. Wade hospital most shalo. And I will stand against the spirit of death. Ya moten manifest dagmo ak awama lo al kwat. Because cancer come with the spirit of death. But I say in the name of Jesus, you cancer do not rule over my wife. But Jesus Christ has already touched her. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. After a few weeks, the treatment was over. And doctors said there is no more cancer in the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her body has recovered perfectly. And she is very happy today. Because the spirit of death, the spirit of cancer had to go away. I believe when we celebrated the Lord's table. That was the turning point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what diagnosis you have over your life. But sickness comes with the spirit of death. But Jesus of Nazareth, he has conquered the spirit of death. And he brings healing to you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will bring you a story from the Bible. A very crucial moment in the history of Israel. That is from the book of Esther. The book of Esther. Chapter 3 verse 13. And the letter were sent by couriers into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to annihilate all the Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, on the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Adar, and to plunder their possession. And the Zilan. Basra ulat tenyom wer, baadar basra sus tenyom kan. Ayuh dan hulu lujutchen nas magil lujutchen, his anatotchen, seitotchen, baan dik an yat afan na yigadil zend. Yedemas sum zend, merkwa chonem yizar fzend. Dabda bioch bemelik tenyoch ij wede negusu agaroch hulu telak. We must also read from chapter four, verse twelve and thirteen and fourteen. 
So they told Mordecai Esther's words, and Mordecai told them to answer Esther, do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such an appointed time as this. Mesafa Aster Meraf Arat Kasra Hulet is Kasrarat in the Zilal. Akreatosum, ya Asterin Kal Lemerdokios, Negaro. Merdokiosum, Akreatosum, he did not last here in Dibelatalo. Anchi Benegus Bait, Silla Honk, Kai Hood Hulu Yilik, Edena Lobelesh, Belibish Atasavi. Bezigze Chelebiti, Reftena, Medan, Lai Hood, Kalila Sufra, Yuhon Lachal. Anchina ya abatish baitkin, tit of a lech, Degmos weda mengist, yemet ashu, and the zila logize, and the hone maniokal. We will also read one more verse from chapter six, verse thirteen. Sidist asrasustinum degmun now. Then a man told his wife, Seresh, and all his friends everything that had happened to him. His wise man and his wife, Yeresh, said to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall is of Jewish descent, you will not prevail against him, but will surely fall before him. Hamam lemistu lezo sara loda jo chum hulu ya ganyon hulu ach awata cho, tebebenyo chuna mistu zo saram, befitu maudek ejem merkelet merdokios, kai hud wagen endahon befitu fesemo, tuadik alle enji atashen nefem malut. Father, bless thy own word and speak to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This Bible book is very interesting. It speaks about the Jewish people living in the kingdom of Persia. For 2,400 years ago. And this book is also connected to Ethiopia. The name Ethiopia occurs many times in this book. Because in that time, Persia was the world empire. Covering all the countries from India. Down here in Africa. And even the upper part, the north part of Ethiopia. So this is a part of your history. And Jewish people were living in all the provinces. But there were one man in this kingdom, he was the top advisor to the king. And he hated the Jews very much. And he made a secret plan to kill God's people. In one certain day, and his carriers, his messenger, were riding their horses into Ethiopia, into Egypt, into the Middle East, to announce everywhere on this day. All Jewish people must be murdered. But it came to the knowledge of a man called Mordecai. And this Mordecai told Esther, you are the queen in the palace. You are the key person who can influence the king. 
ለንጉሱ ደግሞ መናገር የምትችልና ሐሳቡን ማስቀየር የምትችል አንቺ ብቻ ነሽ አላት ደግሞ ክፉ የሆነ መልእክት እንዲደመሰስ ወይም እንዲሰረዝ አላት ነገር ግን ይሄንን እንዴት ማድረግ እንደነበረባት አታውቅም ነበር ምክንያቱም ወደ ንጉሱ ገብታ በነጻነት መናገር አትችልም ነበር ንጉሱ ሲጋብዛት ብቻ ነበር ወደ እሱ መቅረብ እንኳን የምትችለው but the king did not invite her nagar gin nigusu algabazatim but the top advisor nagar gin the evil man haman and hama yemibal kifu makari nebere the king listened all the time to him kulli gize nigusu gin kasu mikrin yikabel nebere he was the one planning all these evil things nazin yekifat negeroch hulu yemiyakenajew irsu nebere but mordokai sent to esther nagar gin mordokios lasther indezi alat and when esther heard about it kazam aster samach she gathered all the women in the palace kazam beza betemengist ust yemigenyutun setoch hulu sebesebech who was at her service ከዛም በኋላ ጠራቻቸው because now the jewish people announce three days of prayer and fasting ከዛም በአይሁድ ወን ሁሉ ላይ ደግሞ ጾም ጸሎትን ለሶስት ቀን ታወጀ ይጾሙና ይጸልዩ ጀመረ prayer and fasting are weapons in the spiritual world በመንፈሳዊ ዓለም ጾም ጸሎት ልክ እንደ መሳሪያ ነው ሃሌሉያ ሃሌሉያ you know they were praying and fasting በጾም ጸሎት ይቆዩ ነበር And Esther she went in the corridors of the palace. ከዛ ደግሞ አስቴርን በዛ በቤተ መንግስት ውስጥ ተጸልይ ነበር። And the history tell us so tears were falling from her eyes. ታነባ ነበር ታላቅስ ነበር ይላል መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ሲናገር. And she was praying out Psalm 22. ከዛም ደግሞ ትዘምር ነበር። My God my God. ትጸልይ ነበር። Why has thou forsaken me? አምላኬ አምላኬ ሆይ ስለምን ተውከኝ? But you know something happened during these days of prayer. ነገር ግን በዚህ በጸሎትና በጾም ጊዜ አንድ ነገር ሆነ. Because one night the king could not sleep. አንድ ቀን ንጉሱ መተኛት አቃተው. So the king went accidentally into the library. ከዛ በድንገትም ወደ ቤተ መዝገብ ሄደ ተነስተው. You know when you cannot sleep it's very good to read a book. ታውቃላችሁ እንቅልፍን ቢ ሲላችሁ ማንበብ ጥሩ ነው? If you read a book for one hour in the night then you can sleep. መተኛትን ቢ ሲላችሁ ለአንድ ሰዓት መጻፍን ብታነቡ ከዛም ተተኛላችሁ. So the king went into the library and accidentally accidentally he picked one book from the library. ከዛም ያ ንጉስ እንቅልፍን ቢ ሲለው ተነስተ ወደ መጽሐፍ ወደ የሚያነብበት ስፍራ ሄደ ከዛም በድንገት አንድ መጽሐፍ አነሳ and as he opened the book ከዛም ያንን መጽሐፍ ከፈተው he came to read about a jewish man called mordokai mordokai ስለሚባል ስለ አንድ አይሁዳዊ አነበበ and he saw that this jewish man mordokai had saved his life he wetun ersu siadno anebebe by revealing evil plans to murder the king ከዛም አንድ ክፋት የተሰራ ነገር ነበረ ንጉሱን ለመግደል ያንን ነገር መጥቶ ነግሮት ከሞት ሲያድነውና ሲያስመልጠው አነበበ it was during the time of prayer and fasting that came a spiritual influence upon him made him to go and read this story in the book ንጉሱ በድንገት ተነስተው ከእንቅልፉ ተነስተው ያንን መጽሐፍ እንዲያነብ ያደረገው ነገር ምንድነው ብትሉ በድንገት በጾም ጸሎት እነዛ ሰዎች ሲያነቅሱ ስለነበረ ነው so he decided i must i must promote him i must honor him i must do something for him ስለዚህ ያንን ታሪክ ካነበበ በኋላ ይሄንን ሰው ማስተዋወቅ አለብኝ ማንሳት አለብኝ ደግሞ እድገትን ልሰጠው ይገባዋል አለ so in the very morning ከዛም በማለዳ ተነሳ haman his top advisor came into the palace haman በማለዳ መጣ ወደዛ ቤተ መንግስት this man who hated mordokai ye hama yemibal sow ndenegerkwachu mordokiosin yitalawal this man who hated the jews i would ochinum i would dacho and he said haman you are my top advisor ከዛ ንጉሱ ለሃማ እንደዚህ ያለው አንተ ለኔ አማካሬ ነህ አለው you always give me very good advice ሁሉ ግዜ መልካም የሆነን ምክር ለኔ ተጠኛለህ አለው no i want to ask you a question ስለዚህ አንድን ጥያቄ ዛሬ ለጠየቀ i want to promote one person in the kingdom በመንግስቴ ደግሞ አንድን ሰው እድገት ለሰጠው ፈልጋለሁ አለው give me an advice እባክ ምክርን ስጠኝ አለው What should I do to honor a person? አንድን ሰው ለማክበር ምንድነው ማድረግ ያለብኝ አለው? And you know this evil Haman he thought that it was he himself who be to be promoted. ይክፉ የሆነው ሰው ሃማ ደግሞ እርሱ ራሱ የሚሰጠው ያ እድገት ለርሱ መስሎት ነበረ። 
So Haman said to the king, This is what you must do. Take the king's horse. Put the king's garment upon the horse. And let the man you want to promote ride the king's horse. And then you select somebody who can lead the horse through the city. And let him cry out on the streets, this is how the king is promoting somebody. And the king said to Haman, very, very good advice. I appoint you to lead the horse. But it will be Mordecai who will be riding upon the horse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what you can call it? Turning point. Turn to somebody sitting beside you and say, Be ready for your turning point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turning point. Mordecai was a humble man. They went and brought him to the king's palace. He was promoted in one day. And uh, Haman had to be humiliated. You know the proud can be humiliated and the humble can be promoted. I tell you when Jesus is doing something in your life. He do something out of nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard about a young man. They called him Mr. Sero. Mr. Sero, you know. Mr. Sero Ibalal. Yeah, you know, Sero has no value. Zero Ibalal, zero Malat Degumenum Wagailo. You know, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Every number has a value except zero. So this man in the school, they called him Mr. Zero. And so Dagmo Alle, Ato Zero and Mibalsumu, but Murtabetus, Ato Zero Yaluna Bermit Arut. But one day he was saved by Jesus. Negergen and Dickan, Jesus Yannan so Ayo. And Jesus put a number before Zero. And if there comes a number before zero, suddenly zero has a value. Hallelujah. Satan say to you, you are nothing. Satan and But you tell him you are a liar. Because Jesus put a high number before my zero. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are promoted. You are upgraded. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what happened to Mordecai. And uh, Haman was very depressed. He was weeping. He went home to his wife. He told his wife. But his wife told him the truth. If you resist Mordecai, because he is a man of God. He belonged to the covenant people of God. If you fight him, you fight God. And it will be your downfall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not alone. Bichachun aidelachu. But God is with you. Exiaber kanan tagano. And God said to his people. Kazam exiaber le husband zialacho. I fight your battle. Lenante muwa go anening. He said, Your enemy is my enemy. Yenante alat, yenet alat no one. Amen. Amen. I feel such a tremendous time upon my own life and ministry. Whatever I touch is like it gets favor from God. The last years during the corona period. When many people in Sweden said we can do nothing, doors are closed. But we saw new doors open. But we saw new doors open. we saw new doors open. When people said there is no finances, it's too much poverty in Corona. We raised more money than ever before in our history. Because God said, You have my favor upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy to you. Can I prophesy to you? Amen. Amen. God said, I let my face shine upon you. And I be gracious to you. And I turn my face to you. And I give you my peace. I bring you from dawn, I bring you up. Satan is cursing you. But the curse is turned back upon Satan. And the blessings fall on you. I prophesy a new time. There is a new time. Stretch out your hand like this. Stretch out your hand like this. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the blessings from heaven. I receive divine healing, energy, financial miracle and blessing on my family hallelujah hallelujah praise be to god please be seated turning point This is my prophetical message to you this afternoon And everything changed. When the king heard about Haman's evil plans. He announced Haman to be hanged upon the pool which he prepared for Mordecai, the man of God. And the ten sons of Haman were all killed. But the Jewish people were promoted. And Mordecai became the top advisor to the king. Everything turned. Everything turned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan is a liar. Satan 
He said I will finish God's people. But God said I know how to provide an exit for my people. Amen. Amen. I tell you when our first, 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 first grandfather Adam and Eve created in the image of God. Living in the presence of God. Walking and talking with God. But one day the tricky serpent came into the garden. And tried to manipulate Eve and Adam. Questioning God. Has God indeed said? I, I want to tell you that is that is the psychology of Satan to try Satan to question God. Has God indeed said? And the day when the word of God is not an authority upon your life anymore. You will go astray. Because as long as this word of God can guide you, you will do the right decisions. And when men fall in sin, it was like men gave over the authority to Satan. Because God created man to be the ruler of the world. But when Satan deceived man and woman, they lost the authority. And became slaves under the power of Satan. And that was the situation for mankind, and because of that, the Apostle Paul said, Man was without God and without hope in this world. And in the epistle of Romans 5, 17, it says that by one man's offense, death reigned through the one. Romy Amista Sasabatinagar and Zilal, Bandum Bedel Mot Banduba Kulkanaga Sailal. You see, death reigned, Satan reigned, the darkness reigned. Zigasit Melekatu, Mot Nabarina Gaso, Satan Nabarina Gaso Malatno. But God prepared a turning point by sending His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus came and He said, He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. To set the captives free. To heal those who have a broken heart. And give sight to the blind. And set at liberty those who are in prison. And to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. God provided a solution. God was planning for a turning point. And in one way, I believe the turning point might have been in Gethsemane. When Jesus do have the battle in Gethsemane. Jesus Christos begit as a mani lay dagmo, but am betigil na bere. And he feel all the burden of the sins of the world. And he see the cup he has to drink. 
We've a, pollu- a lot of pollution. Because in that cup was all the sins of the world. All the brutality. All the fornication and adultery. All the raping. All the killing. All the suffering. All abnormal sins. All the violence. All the stealing, all criminality, all lies. Everything was in the dirty cup. And Jesus see the dirty cup. But a clean lamb of God will be polluted by the sins of the world. He said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. But in the next moment he says, not according to my desire, but according to your desire. And Jesus drank the cup. He found my sins there. He found your sins there. All the sins of the world was in the cup. And with that burden of sins, he will go the long, long way to Calvary Cross. And you know when Judas Iscariot come to betray him, the disciples want to defend him. But Jesus said, don't you know that if I pray, my father can provide me to help lead you of angels. But Jesus said, how then could the scriptures be fulfilled? It must happen this. Jesus could have asked God to provide to help lead you of angels. But if he had done it, there will be no hope for you and for me. So he refused, he said, I will go the long way. And he went away up to Calvary. And he was crucified as the Lamb of God. And I tell you, this came to be the turning point for the whole humanity. The turning point. Because what happened on the cross? Jesus paid the price for your sins. He shed the blood for your forgiveness. And by his stripes you are healed. And he took, he died for you so that you will live eternal with him. That's the turning point. Everyone do like this. Everyone do like this. Say this is the turning point. The turning point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wrote the freedom letter. But everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. There is power, power, wonder working power, power in the blood of the Lamb. 
And the Bible even say here that he has disarmed the principalities and powers by triumphing over them on the cross. And he made the devil's power to be nullified by defeating him on the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't think Satan understood the power of the cross. I think Satan thought that he had the victory. When the Roman soldiers were crucifying Jesus, I think the devil and the demons prepared a big banquet. And they were about to celebrate the victory over Jesus. They saw him hanging there on the cross. They saw him suffer. They saw him even cry out, My God, why has thou forsaken me? I think Satan thought that this is the victory of darkness. But when Jesus three o'clock in the afternoon were crying out, it is finished. I think he went down to the kingdom of hates where the banquet was just about to start with Satan. Maybe Satan already started his talk and said, Dear principalities of darkness. Today we have reason to celebrate. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is defeated on the cross. But when he just finished the first sentence, a, a great light appeared coming down to the kingdom of hates. And Satan start to tremble. He the arrogant, he the pro, the arrogant devil himself. He was trembling. His tongue was paralyzed. He couldn't say anything. A light was appearing. And the demons were falling down. The principalities and powers were shaking. And Jesus went to Satan and said, give me the keys. And by a shaking hand, the devil handed over the keys to Jesus. Jesus won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think you should jump up and say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus won the victory. The cross is the turning point. The crucial moment. When Satan thought he had won the victory. But everything turned around. Because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the victory. Please be seated. And, and I want to tell you that is why Jesus could stand on a mountain in Galilee and say unto me all power has been given 
ኃይል ሁሉ ለኔ ተሰጥቶኛል in heaven and on earth በሰማይና በመድረ go ye therefore ስለዚህ ሂዱና to all the nation ለዓለም ለፍጥረት ሁሉ and preach the gospel ወንጌልን ስበኩ don't forget bishofto ስለዚህ ደብረ ዘይትን ወይ ቢሾፍቱን አትርሱ don't forget addis addis አባባንም አትርሱ don't forget ethiopia ethiopian አትርሱ don't forget africa african አትርሱ don't forget india ህንድ አገርን አትርሱ don't forget europe አውሮፓንም አትርሱ i think god is sending the rest to europe also ስለዚህ ነብይ ድረሰን ደግሞ እግዚአብሔር ወደ አውሮፓም ልቆታል ወደ ዓለም ሁሉ ዙሩ አለ preach the gospel ወንጌልን ስበኩ something is happening when we are preaching አንድ ነገር ይሆናል سنሰብክ there are something released when we are preaching አንድ ነገር سنሰብክ አንድ ነገር ከውስጣችን ይለቀቃል hallelujah hallelujah do you feel the power of god የእግዚአብሔር ኃይል ይሰማቸዋል ወይ do you believe that there is a turning point for you ለናንተ የመቀየሪያ ጊዜ እንዳለ ታምናላችሁ This day can be a historical day for you. ይቀልናንተ ታሪካዊ ቀን ሊሆንላችሁ ይችላል If you believe ካመናችሁ Jesus said all power Jesus ሲናገር ኃይል ሁሉ አለ not 50% 50% አላለም not 90% 90% አላለም not that satan should have 10% 10% እንኳን የለውም ሰይጣን ሰይጣን is defeated ሰይጣን ተሸንፏል hallelujah hallelujah jesus won the victory ኢየሱስ ድሉን አንሸንፏል how can this victory be your victory ይድል እንዴት የናንተ መሆን ይችላል by being baptized in the holy spirit በመንፈስ ቅዱስ ጥምቀት ብቻ ነው jesus said i will send you another helper ኢየሱስ ሲናገር ሌላ አጽናኝ እልክላችኋለሁ አለ another paracletos ሌላ አጽናኝ ወይም ፓራክሌጦስ እልክላችኋለሁ who always will be with you ሁሉ ግዜ ከእናንተ ጋር ይሆናል when jesus ascended up to heaven ኢየሱስ ወደ ሰማይ ሲያደረግ እንኳን the disciples stood there and was wondering ደቀ መዝሙሮቹ ቆሞ በጣም ይገረሙ ነበር 10 days they were praying in the upper room ከዛ ላስር ቀን መጸለይ መጾም ጀመሩ they didn't understand አልገባቸው ማልተረዱትም ነበር how will the future be እንዴት ነው ወይ ወደፊታችን የሚሆነው jesus is in heaven ኢየሱስ እኮ ወደ ሰማይ ሄዷል nothing is like it was before እንደ በፊቱ ቆ ምንም ነገር አይሆንልንም but jesus said ነገር ግን ኢየሱስ አለ stay in jerusalem በኢየሩሳሌም ቆዩ until you receive power ሃይለን እስከምትቀበሉ ድረስ from the most high ከሃይ ከላይ ሃይለን እስከምትቀበሉ በኢየሩሳሌም ቆዩ በፔንቴኮስት ኤምቀን everything was changed ነገሮች ሁሉ ተቀየሩ that was the turning point for the church ለቤተ ክርስቲያን ደግሞ መቀየሪያ ጊዜ ያነበረ they were baptized in fire በእሳት ተጠመቁ they were speaking in tongues በልሳን መናገር ጀመሩ and suddenly they were like jesus በድንገትም እንደ ኢየሱስ መናገር ጀመሩ the holy spirit gave them the jesus nature ደግሞ መንፈስ ቅዱስ የኢየሱስ ፍጥረት በውስጣቸው እንዲሆን አደረገ not by might not by power says the lord but by my holy spirit በኃይል ወይም በስልጣን አይደለም ነገር ግን በእግዚአብሔር መንፈስ ብቻ ነው ye shall receive power and be my witnesses ኃይልን ትቀበላላችሁ ከዛ ምስክርን ቼት ሆነ Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the anointing come over you now. Let the Holy Spirit anointing come upon you now. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. It is the anointing which breaks the jokes in your life. Christianity is not the religion. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. መንፈስ ቅዱስ ቅባት ነው When I was a teenager I received the anointing ወጣት ያለው ያንን ቅባት ተቀብየው ነበር I have been traveling 50 years around the world and preaching the gospel ወንጌልን በመስበክ ለ50 ሙሉ አመጣጥ ዞራለሁ ዓለም I couldn't do it in myself በራሴ ግን ይሄንን ማድረግ አልችልም I have gone into very dark areas ጨለማ ወደሚባሉ ስፍራዎች ሄጃለሁ I have commanded Satan to go away ሰይጣንን እንዲወጣ ገስጨዋለሁ I have seen sick people being healed በሽተኞች ሲፈወሱ አይቻለሁ I have seen hundreds of churches growing up around the world በብዙ መቶ የሚቆጠሩ ቤተክርስቲያን ሲያድጋ ይቻላል by the power of the holy spirit በመንፈስ ቅዱስ ኃይል 
you are born to be an overcomer receive the anointing receive the anointing receive the anointing the anointing of the holy spirit speak in tongues release your prayer language start to speak in tongues in the name of jesus speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit come upon you. I see some flames of fire here. I see a flame of fire over that side. I see a big flame of fire. Let the fire come over you now. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. In the name of Jesus. I see a flame of fire here also. Catch the flame of fire. Receive right now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 በየጊዜው የምንለቃቸውን ቪዲዮችና የተለያዩ መረጃዎችን ለመከታተል ፕሮፌት ደረሰላቀው ህዝባር አንዋንቲንግ ቲቪ የሚለውን የፌስቡክ ገጻችንን ላይክና ፎሎ ያደርጉ። እንዲሁም ፕሮፌት ደረሰላቀው ህዝባር አንዋንቲንግ ቲቪ ወርልድ ዋይድ የሚለውን የዩቲዩብ ቻናላችንን ሰብስክራይብ ያደርጉ። በየጊዜው የምንለቃቸውን የተለያዩ ቪዲዮች በሰዓቱ ቀን ምን ይደርሱት ደግሞ የዶሮ መልእክቱን ይጫኑ።